Hi, I'm Kirby Allison. Thank you for all your comments and questions that you guys have posted on our YouTube channel. After reading them all and answering as many as possible, I've selected five that we're gonna feature in today's Q&A video. Each of these individuals I have selected will receive a complimentary pair of our Wellington shoelaces as a token of our appreciation for their participation in our channel. In today's Q&A video, we're gonna be answering your questions about suede care. So our first question today is from Jay Chung and it reads, uh, how does a suede eraser work? Uh, is it not just by abrasion? So a great question, Jay. There's really two different types of products you need for you know, the regular or daily maintenance of suede. So that's not including uh, any of your cleaners or conditioning sprays. Uh, one of them is a good suede brush that's gonna help you, you know, really get into the nap and, and clean any dirt uh, that's gotten into the suede itself. Now we sell a variety of suede brushes, you know, here at Kirby Allison's Hanger Project. Uh, this one is a, a brass bristle with a little bit of synthetic bristles on the edge, uh, sold by Saphir. Uh, but we also have a beautiful uh, boar bristle, uh, natural bristle brush that we sell that's my favorite. Uh, there's a crepe brush uh, that you can use that is going to be a little bit more gentle than something uh, like a steel bristle brush. This is especially useful for something like a nubuck, uh, which is a much finer uh, suede. Uh, but then you have the Gomadin Suede Eraser. And so this is a really unique product uh, that is used for dry stains. It looks just like an eraser. And if you uh, have anything that is uh, you know, fallen onto your suede and dried like uh, any type of food or uh, I don't know, maybe some uh, hard dirt or something that's difficult to get off, uh, this is a great product. So you might not be able to see this in the video, but here's a small little, um, you know, kind of embedded stain. So, you know, I could try it first with the suede brush. Um, and you know, that got the small one, this one right next to it's still there. So for the suede eraser, you're just gonna work that in to the nap, just like you would, um, you know, a, a pencil eraser, honestly. And what this does is these small kind of rough, uh, you know, particles in the suede eraser get into the suede and should pull whatever that off is on there off. Now, you'll see it does leave a residue of the eraser behind, but this just brushes off, you know, really easily. Uh, and you can see I really kind of have removed for the most part uh, what was there. So uh, the suede eraser, you know, isn't uh, an essential uh, part of suede care, uh, but it's certainly a nice product to have. Here's another stain, you know, right here. You know, as you can see, I'm using the suede brush. It really doesn't uh, get that off. So uh, the next step would then be to use the suede eraser. And again, you wanna think of the suede eraser not as a daily care, uh, but is really more of kind of like a spot treatment, occasional care. So I'm gonna work this into the suede. For those of you that are wondering what shoe I'm using, this is a pair of my Alfred Sargent um, Capto Oxford Semi Brogues. Beautiful shoe, uh, dark brown suede. God, I get so much use out of this. Uh, but as you can see, that's helped kind of further remove that spot. It's certainly less, less noticeable. You still can see it there a little bit. Um, you know, the next step to really get into this might be used to use the Saphir Omni Netanyant uh, Suede Shampoo, uh, which is really kind of the next step. Uh, but uh, this is great at kind of removing those really difficult to get embedded stains. Our next question today is uh, from Benjamin Schnell, uh, and it's on our video on how to waterproof suede shoes. And uh, this is the type of comment that I just absolutely love reading. Uh, it just validates everything that we're doing on our YouTube channel um, and uh, really brings a smile to me. And it reads, um, I've avoided suede shoes because of the care. My next shoes I purchase will be suede. I think you should do a video on leather briefcase care, which we've done. Uh, and uh, a presidential briefcase shine. So uh, great suggestions. Um, and you know, what I love about this comment is that, you know, a lot of people shy away from wearing suede shoes because they don't know how to care for suede. They think, you know, uh, suede shoes get dirty really quickly and after a year of regular use, my suede shoes look terrible and I have to throw them away. So why would I invest in a really high quality pair of suede shoes? Uh, and that couldn't be any farther from the truth. You know, suede shoes are some of the easiest shoes to care for. Uh, the beauty of suede is that you can't scuff it. You know, so if you're traveling 
yelling and you, you know, kick the seat in front of you or if someone steps on your shoe, uh, you're not going to ruin suede the same way uh, that calfskin can be easily ruined uh, through abrasion. So suede in many ways is a much more durable material than calfskin and for that it's very long lasting and hard wearing. Now suede is incredibly easy to care for. If you can wash your hair uh, at the end of the day, you can take care of suede shoes. I mean, the most important things are one, regular brushing with a suede brush. Now, a tip on this is that if you don't have a suede brush, you can use uh, any type of uh, short bristled uh, um, shoe shine brush, anything that has a bristle that's gonna really get into the suede, you know, get any type of embedded dirt out and fluff that nap um, is, is essential for daily care. And then from a regular occasional care, uh, it's essential to use a suede shampoo. Now, suede shampoo like the Saphir Omni Netanyahu uh, is a miracle worker. Uh, it can take an incredibly dirty, worn pair of suede shoes and totally revitalize it. I can't uh, overstate how effective a suede shampoo is at taking care of suede shoes. Uh, it's, uh, you know, can take a pair that you throw away uh, and really bring them totally back to life. So, you know, regular shampooing, you know, a few times a year or at least whenever your shoes are looking really dirty, uh, will really go a long way to allowing you to wear a pair of suede shoes for years, if not decades. And it's incredibly easy to use. I mean, you just put some of this in a bowl. Uh, we have a, a nice, large, deluxe dauber that makes it very easy uh, to quickly shampoo a pair of shoes, rinse it underwater. You don't have to worry about getting it wet. It's, it's certainly okay. And then allow the shoes to dry and then rebrush it with a suede brush and there you are. So we have an entire video, you know, really detailing how to care for suede shoes that goes into the great detail how to use these products. You know, but really suede shoes should not be something that intimidates you. They're incredibly easy to care for. They're very versatile. I love traveling with them. I love wearing them whenever I'm out with my kids um, just because I don't have to stress about, you know, messing up my shine or having anyone step on my shoes. So if you don't own a pair of nice suede dress shoes, you know, I would certainly encourage it. Our next question is from Anton Bach and it's on the same uh, how to waterproof suede shoes video. And it says, Dear Mr. Allison, uh, on, the on the renovating spray, it says uh, that it also causes the material, in this case suede, to become water repellent. Uh, would you say that the renovator spray is uh, not enough and that the Saphir Super Nova should be applied? So there's two different products, uh, aerosols, that are really dedicated to kind of advanced suede care. Uh, and here at Kirby Allison Tanger Project, you know, these two products really go a long way towards, uh, you know, advanced suede care, if you will. Now, there are different products. So this is the Saphir uh, Renovateur for suede and nubuck. Uh, and this is the Saphir Super Nova. Now, the Saphir Renovating Spray, you know, you want to think of this as an alternative, you know, to you know, basically a pomadier cream polish. Now, this has an almond oil in it. It's gonna help nourish the suede. It's gonna renew the, the nice soft patina or the slight shine that you get on a beautiful pair of suede shoes. Uh, and then what's nice is that it also comes uh, with various and various colors. Now, it's not as many colors as with the Saphir Pomadier Cream Polish, uh, but the pigment uh, helps renew uh, the, the color saturation in a pair of suede shoes. Now, I think there's three or four different colors we have, uh, and you wanna think of this as not really needing to be an exact match, but a close match because uh, the pigment in this, because it's an aerosol, uh, is really transparent. And so it's not gonna change the color of suede shoes. It's really just gonna merely tint the color uh, and bring in you know, kind of that background, any type of fading you might have. So uh, I recommend the renovating spray uh, really for regular maintenance. I mean, every you know, few months, uh, take your shoes uh, into the garage or outside, spray it down. Uh, it's gonna help, you know, uh, again, you know, really nourish the suede, keep it soft and supple. It's gonna renew that nice, soft little shine. And it's also gonna help, you know, bring back the color a little bit. Now this might provide a little bit of waterproofing, uh, but really, you know, the waterproofing product that we sell uh, is the Super Nova. Now this is uh, really great for high-end shoes because it doesn't contain any silicone products and is slow drying. Now you honestly want a slow drying waterproofer because if it dries too quickly before it has an opportunity to soak into the suede, it can cause white rings to form. And so any type of you know, nano protector or any type of really 
you know, Scotch Guard or anything that you would find commonly at the store, you know, that dries in minutes, you absolutely do not want to use that on a really high quality pair of shoes. Now, what's nice about the Super Nova is that uh, it really it'll waterproof anything. I mean, you could spray it on your calfskin shoes if you wanted to. Uh, you can also use it on uh, fabric slippers. You know, I use it on my son's boots. Um, so this is a great product, and this is really going to provide that water protection uh, that uh, is so necessary for really any pair of shoes, but especially suede shoes, because unlike calfskin, you're not putting any wax on top of the suede, so it's not going to get any of that waterproofing, you know, that a cream or a wax polish would traditionally pay, bring a pair of calfskin shoes. So I highly recommend it. Uh, it'll really, again, help um, help extend the lifetime of your shoes. Another great property of the Saphir Supernova is that it's not permanent. Now that might seem a little bit of counterintuitive, um, but you want this to wear off. So once the water stops beating uh, on top of the suede, it just means that the product is worn off uh, and you want to reapply it. Now the reason that's important is that I've actually sprayed this, uh, what is it, the, uh, the Tarago Nano Protector on a pair of suede chukka boots. I would never use it on any of my fine suede shoes, but you know, on a pair of boots that I'm you know, wearing to go hunting or something, I've used it on. And it's so effective that whenever I went to go clean the shoes using the Saphir Omni Netanyahu suede shampoo, I couldn't even get the water back into the suede. It was really incredible. Uh, you know, I had to take ammonia and, uh, on a cloth and rub the shoe down in order to pull the Saphir Nano Protector off. So, you know, Nano Protector, it's a miracle worker. It's great for like a pair of hiking boots, uh, but I would never use it on a nice pair of shoes because it'll also prevent you uh, from going back over the shoes and properly shampooing them. So another great thing about all of our suede uh, and Nubuck cleaning products that I've discussed here, with the exception of the brushes, is that they can also be used on fabric slippers, right? So suede, Nubuck, and textiles. These are a pair of my Foster & Sons grade slippers. Uh, and, you know, I can shampoo these, you know, with the Saphir Omni Netanyahu. Uh, I can waterproof them with the Supernova. Now, you wouldn't use the renovating spray. But again, a lot of these suede products can be used to clean fabric slippers also. Our next question today is from uh, Shin Ku, and it reads, Hi Kirby, uh, which between the crepe brush or the bristle brush would you recommend for cleaning full grain leather shoes with the suede upper quarter inserts? You know, for example, a Bal Balmoral boots uh, with suede inserts. My Carmina Cordovan boots are exactly what you're talking about. Uh, since the suede quarters are sewn right next to the full grain leather, uh, how would you clean and condition that section without impacting the full grain leather section? So, a uh, great question. This gets into a little bit of advanced suede care. You know, first and foremost, uh, you know, traditionally on a pair of dress boots like that, uh, you have a much finer nap uh, to the suede. And so for that reason, I really would recommend using a crepe brush uh, over a bristle brush because it is going to be much more gentle on that suede. So any type of suede nubuck or any type of really fine suede calfskin that again doesn't have you know kind of a large um, a larger kind of more robust uh, nap pattern. You want to use the crepe brush. This uh, operates in much the same way where you're going to brush the suede. And what's nice is because the gumminess of the of the crepe, it actually helps again pull some of that dirt off. Now, uh, in the same way that you wouldn't want uh, to use a shoe shine brush that you just buffed a pair of uh, black shoes on a light brown pair of shoes, with the crib brush, you really you know need one of these for your dark shoes and one of these for your light shoes. I mean, you wouldn't want to just clean a pair of dark brown suede shoes and then take this same brush to a light brown pair of shoes because you could get some dye discharge uh, onto that lighter colored pair of shoe. So uh, absolutely, I, I would recommend going for a crepe brush for any type of finer grain suede than a bristle brush. Now the next question with regard to cleaning uh, is that you still could shampoo um, you know, the suede using uh, the Omni Netanyahu. You just would need to be more careful. Maybe you use a smaller uh, bristle dauber to help you better control where that is. You know, I'd probably have like a small washcloth or something to help prevent this uh, from getting onto the leather. Now this won't damage the leather, but you just would want to keep that shampooing, you know, really onto the suede. Uh, but I wouldn't worry too much because it, again, it won't damage the leather. I mean, in the same way uh, that a saddle soap wouldn't damage the leather. Uh, and then if you want to use any of the sprays, you know, um, again, you could take a, a washcloth and just simply place that 
on top of the, the smooth leather uh, and then spray these products uh, onto the suede part of your shoe and that would work fine. If you have any questions about that shin, feel free to ask them in the comments section below or post the pictures on Instagram and tag us and that's another way I can provide some help to you. Our last question is from uh, Packy, and this is on our how to condition a leather belt video where we conditioned an Allen Edmonds uh, calfskin belt. Uh, and it says, uh, how would you clean a Nubuck belt? I have a Nubuck belt that's beautiful, but if I ever get it wet, it's ruined. Uh, I touched it with wet hands once and it's still stained to this day. Any way to renew suede and Nubuck after getting it wet? Or would you just stain the whole item with water so that it matches? So a great question. Uh, you know, I love new buck belts. You know, it's a beautiful, soft, kind of suede texture. Uh, and again, I would clean a new buck belt uh, the same way that we really do our suede, just with the exception that I would use a crepe brush, uh, you know, to brush it. Uh, but the Saphir Omni Netanyahu, again, it's safe for suede and new buck. So, you know, if you ever discolored your belt because you got some oils onto it from your hands, uh, I honestly would just shampoo it with the Omni Netanyahu uh, and then brush the suede. I mean, you could always condition it using uh, the renov renovating spray. Uh, and of course, you could waterproof it with the Super Anul. Uh, all of these products would be completely safe to use uh, on your Nubuck belt. So uh, those would be my suggestions. And uh, I would bet that if you were to actually try to use the Saphir Omni Netanyahu, you'd probably get that stain that you uh, left on the belt whenever you touched it off. So uh, feel free to post some pictures on Instagram. I'd love to see what you're talking about. And uh, let us know how these products work in the comment section below. Once again, I'd like to take a moment to thank everyone for their comments and questions. It's your engagement on our YouTube channel that make these Q&A videos possible possible. Not only do these Q&A videos give me an opportunity to answer in greater depth a lot of the questions that I'm already answering, uh, but they allow me to take a moment to just acknowledge my appreciation for everyone's involvement in this channel. I cannot overstate how much I've absolutely enjoyed this platform and how it's allowed me to connect more directly with all of you. I really have fun interacting with you all and answering your questions. I read all those questions and comments personally and really do enjoy getting back to them as many as possible. All of these products that we discussed in today's video can be found on Kirby Allison's Hangar Project. Uh, we appreciate your support. It's how we support this channel. So if there's anything that we can do to help you take care of your wardrobe, luxury garment hangers, luxury shoe care, and other accessories for the well-dressed, please visit us at hangarproject.com. And of course, we have links to all these products in the video description below. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and please subscribe to our channel and turn on your notifications by clicking the bell to the right of the subscribe button so that you can learn whenever we release new videos. If you have any questions or comments about anything we discussed on this video, please ask them in the comments section below. And of course, please visit hangerproject.com where we have the largest, most comprehensive collection of luxury garment care and shoe care accessories in the world, as well as many other incredible products for the well-dressed. And while you are there, subscribe to our newsletter to receive notifications of new product launches, promotions, as well as a weekly digest of all the videos we publish here on our YouTube channel. I'm Kirby Allison, and we love to help the well-dressed acquire and care for their wardrobes. Thanks for joining me.